this flavorsome unique dish methi malai paneer or you can literally translate as creamy fenugreek leaves with indian cottage cheese has a creamy texture as the name suggests royal mild tangy and sweet flavor and has bit of bitterness from fenugreek leaves it is quite a unique combination of different ingredients and flavor so do try out this creamy recipe and share your feedback in comment section if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it and hit the notification bell for latest update in a bowl add plucked methi leaves add water and put salt into it mix it keep it aside for 15 to 20 minutes at a room temperature now heat up a kadai on medium to high heat add oil once oil oil is start getting hot add bay leaves cinnamon sticks black pepper corn green cardamom close into it followed by cumin seeds slitted green chilies and cashews saute them up for about 20 to 30 seconds then add large diced onion and saute them until it turns translucent or pinkish in color then add large diced tomato add salt and stir it well then cover it with a lid and let it cook for 10 minutes on medium flame stir it in between in every 2 to 3 minutes once tomato looks cooked mushy and start releasing bit of a oil add ginger garlic paste into it saute it about 20 to 30 seconds on medium flame only then cover it once again and let it cook for another 2 minutes or until kadhai separates the masala then turn off the flame and let it cool down completely before grinding it into a sauce meanwhile heat up a pan on medium heat to fry methi i have squeezed out the salted water from methi and chopped it once pan is hot add ghee if you want you can use oil but ghee goes really well with fenugreek leaves once hot add chopped fenugreek leaves then fry it on medium flame roasting fenugreek leaves properly is very important as this ensures all the flavors comes out properly no need to add salt here as i have already soaked leaves in the salted water another tip is If you don't like bitter flavor at all, then soak chopped leaves into the salted water and not the whole. I soaked whole leaves as it is more healthier and provides heartier flavor. Once roasted well, turn off the flame, take it out on a plate and keep it aside for later use. Then grind the onion tomato masala into a smooth paste. Add little bit of water if required while grinding. Now strain the sauce through wire strainer into a bowl pressing on the solids with a spatula to get as much sauce through now heat up a kadai on medium flame add ghee or clarified butter into it once it's hot add asafoetida followed by tomato sauce turn down the flame to low otherwise otherwise sauce splutter on you Then mix everything gently. When sauce starts to bubble, cover it with a lid and cook it on low to medium heat for around six to seven minutes. Keep stirring it in between once in a while. Then add yogurt into it and continuously stir it for about two minutes. Now add turmeric, coriander powder. red chili powder into it mix everything well cover it again and cook it for 2 minutes then open the lid give it a stir and add roasted fenugreek leaves roast it with masala for about a minute then add boiling hot water to adjust the consistency of the gravy now add cubed paneer or indian cottage cheese into it cover it and cook it for another minute then add black salt roasted cumin powder and little bit of roasted kasuri methi turn off the flame and finish it by adding whipping cream into it 
Garnish it with the drizzle of whipping cream on top. Enjoy this delicious dish with naan bread, rice or roti. I hope you like this video. If you like this recipe, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you soon in next video. Till then, happy eating. Bye-bye. Take care.